Hi everyone, uh, today we will discuss about the multiplexer or the data selector. So a multiplexer is a combination circuit that uh, which can be multi which will be multiplexing all the data and it will be allowing the data uh, to be sent it on a single line. So here we will look into the definition of the multiplexer. A multiplexer is a device that allows the digital information from several sources to be routed onto a single line for transmission over that line to a common destination. So this is what the uh, definition of your multiplexer what it exactly is doing is like uh, all the data which we are giving at the input side will be multiplexed together and it will select one among the input lines to the output that's why it is also called as data selector so if you see the multiplexer it has total 2 power n input lines and n select lines so and a single output line so now always my output is always dependent upon your select lines here so if you have n select lines then you will be having 2 power n input lines so the relation between your input and select lines is given like 2 power m is equals to n where n is the select lines and 2 power m is your uh, input lines if you see the functional diagram of the multiplexer so here it is having the two power n input lines and n select lines and one output line so based on the select line combination it will select one of the inputs and it will be transmitting to the output that's why it is also called as data selector for example if you are having two select lines let us take s0 and s1 so when you are giving an input on select lines as 0 0 it will be selecting your i0 and this will be connected to the i0 and it will be transmitted to the output suppose if you are giving the input as 0 1 then the input select lines uh, or the control lines if it is having the value of 0 and 1 it will select the i1 and it will be automatically connected to i1 and the i1 will be transmitted to the output side likewise if you have 1 0 as your input at your control lines then it will select the input i th i2 and it will be transmitted to the output side and if you have 1 1 it will be selecting the i3 so like that if you have n input lines 2 power n input lines and n select lines based on the input combination it will be connected to one of the inputs that's why it is called as data selector that means based on the select lines combination it is selecting one of the inputs and transmitting to the output as side. we have a small idea about the multiplexers now let us see how to design the 2 is to 1 multiplexer step by step process as we know that a multiplexer designing or a combinational circuit design it is having some steps where first we need to identify the inputs and outputs and thereafter i need to assign the variables to the given uh, uh, for the multiplexer and we will be drawing a block diagram from that we will be getting the truth table from that I will be drawing the uh, uh, logic diagram as your final step so as a uh, 2 is to 1 multiplexer it is having 2 inputs and a single output so the number of inputs is equals to 2 and output is 1 as the number of inputs is equals to 2 that is 2 power 1 so I will be having only one select line now coming to your block diagram now assigning the variables for the given multiplexer so i am taking the two inputs as d1 and d0 and it is having one enable always the enable should be high and a single output line and one select line so this is how we are assigning our variables uh, for a given block diagram from this as according the information whatever we are having that based on the select line values it will be selecting one of the inputs so as it is having a single select line when the enable is high it is selecting the input data with what we are calling it as d0 and when the select line value is 1 it will be selecting d1 and when my enable is 0 whatever the value of your select line that is 0 or 1 the output will be always equals to 0 so what it says is when my select line value is 0 the output is d0 and when my select line value is 1 the output is d1 now let us see the uh, logic diagram for the given 2 is to 1 multiplexer now what i do here is i am taking the select line and uh, <coughs> i am connecting 
the s naught is equal to zero at the time I want a d naught as my output. So I am taking one AND gate for which my data input is d naught and s naught is as s is equals to zero. So I am connecting a complemented complemented connection of your s naught to second AND gate and uh, and d one is the input of your first AND gate and I am connecting a normal input to your AND gate such that these two are combined and given to your OR gate to give the output Y. That means when my S value is equals to 0, it is complemented here. So the value will become 1 and D0 into 1 is D0. And your S value is equals to 0 means this output is 0. So 0 plus D0, the output will be equals to D0. That means whenever I am giving the value of S0 is equal to 0, I am getting the output as D0. And uh, when my S value or S0 value is equals to 1, then this output here at the AND gate, the output will be equals to your 0. Why? Because I am giving the input as 1, it is getting complemented. 0 into D0 is equals to 0. And this 1 into D1, the output here it will become D1. And uh, 0 plus D1, it will give the output as your D1. So when the input uh, or select line value is equals to 1 when the enable is high then the output is d1 now according to our uh, designing procedure now let us see how to design a 4 is to 1 multiplexer as according to my definition already i said that the inputs are 4 means 4 4 is the inputs and 1 is the output that is nothing but 2 power 2 that means there are two select lines and uh, four input lines and one output line so according to our designing procedure now assigning the variables to the given uh, block diagram here i am giving the inputs as d0 d1 d2 and d3 are my four inputs and it has two select lines s0 and s1 and one output line and one enable so now we'll proceed uh, how to uh, draw the truth table for this one so as we have said that we are having uh, two select lines. I am taking S0 and S1 as my two select lines and one enable. So when the enable is high, what are the combinations you can do with your uh, two variables that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So based on that combination, one of the input will be selected and it will be present at your output side. So when 0, 0 is given, I would like to present my D0 as your output and 0, 1 and uh, the output is d1 and 10 the output is d2 11 one, one, the output is d3 when the enable is equals to 0 what are the combination you are having whether it is 0 0 or 0 1 or 10 one, and 11 one, one, the output is always equals to 0 now if you see here now how to connect make the connections for a 4 is to 1 multiplexer as i said when my s0 and s1 values are is equals to 0 so as i require four outputs so i am taking four and gates now i am connecting s0 and s1 to your d0 and uh, this is how 0 0 is connected that is complement of s0 and uh, s1 is connected to your first and gate now the s0 value is equals to 1 and s1 value is equals to 0 that means a normal line of your s0 and a complemented line of your s1 is connected to your and gate 2 and now when you are giving 10 that means normal variable is s1 and complemented variable is s0 so i am connecting to the and gate 3 and now 11 means the normal variable of your s0 and s1 are connected to the and gate 4 so now one more line we need to add here that is enable so when enable is high 
that is when enable is high this multiplexer is going to work that means whenever I am giving 0 0 as complement of the variables S0 and S1 is connected to D1 that means these values will become 1 and this is D0 the output will be D0 here the remaining all will be 0 and you will get an output of D0 likewise when I give 0 1 the remaining values are zeros 0 1 means 1 is connected so this is 1 means automatically this value will become 0 and the output here it will become 0 and naturally the output as it is connecting the 1 is connected to your AND gate and here the 0 means its complement is connected to your AND gate 2 so the output here it is D1 remaining 2 are zeros my output will be equals to D1 and similarly when I give 1 0 then the third one will be having the output this will become 0 and the output here D3 will become uh, uh, D2 uh, for the AND gate uh, 3 the D2 will be the output and your output uh, is present at your out, uh, output side now and similarly when you are giving uh, 1 1 as 1 1 is connected to your AND gate 4 so the output here the remaining outputs like D0, D1 and sorry AND gate 1, 2, 3 will be 0 and here the output will be equals to your D3 so 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus D3 the output will be equals to the D3 so this is how we are going to uh, construct a multiplexer not only uh, 4 is to 1 it is also like 8 is to 1 or whatever it is we can construct based on the same principle so this is how our multiplexer is acting as a data selector that means based on the select line combinations it is presenting one of the inputs at the output side